Tree hoppers have several life stages, and scientists have called this incomplete metamorphosis. From the egg of this alchismy species will hatch a tiny transparent nymph. It takes approximately one hour for the nymph to completely hatch, a delicate moment for the six-legged insect. During the nymph's lifetime, mother will never be far, protecting her offspring from the dangers of the rainforest, a rare behavior for insects. This is a freshly hatched first instar. Over the next month, the nymph will go through five molts to reach adulthood. This second instar will molt into third instar. At the fourth instar, females can be clearly distinguished from males. The last instar's abdomen appears fully developed and as a young adult, the female's colors are attractive in comparison to her mother's. But these Ambonia crassicornis will not be mature enough for reproduction before another three weeks. Just like their parents, the young nymphs come in all different shapes, colors, and sizes. They hardly resemble their parents at this stage, and for many species, scientists do not know which instar will turn into which adult. There are so many insects in the world that despite the number of entomologists that there are, there's too much diversity to cover. And tree hoppers, we're fortunate right now that there are perhaps uh, 20 people, tops, around the world that are studying them. Stewart has identified this nymph as a young heteronotus. And what is rather astonishing is that in just a few weeks, it will eventually turn into this. The adult heteronotus. It has grown an extraordinary pronotum and is ready to leave the group to lead a solitary existence. But most nymphs are gregarious. They are often found clustered together on the same stem, and this group is under the watchful eye of their mother. Nymphs are highly vulnerable. Their pronotum is not fully developed and they have no wings to escape danger. And in their world, this stink bug is a predator. The bug seems impressed by Mother Ambonia. But he's a hungry stink bug and he's on his hunt for food. Mother flaps her wings in warning and her children send out simultaneous alarm signals in despair. Strategy of evolution number six, having a protective mother. A strong kick from her hind legs has saved one of her offspring, but danger is still near. She will have to redeploy her courage and get closer to battle him off the branch. Determined, the stink bug has found another branch, and the colony knows he's back. Mother takes position. But it's too late for this young nymph. The bug runs with his prize to savor his dinner in the quieter leaves of the plant. Life depends on death.
nymphs that survive will enter their final stage, leaving behind them an exoskeleton, rather like an old coat. And this young foliata nymph is leaving her group for a major change. With all her force, the fragile nymph focuses her energy on leaving the exoskeleton. At this stage, she is exceedingly vulnerable. But it won't take long for her pronotum to grow and harden. It's a miracle of life. In less than one hour, she has become an adult Poliada. Her pronotum has unfolded to stand proudly above her, and a pair of wings are ready to fly.